Hello everybody and welcome back to another character showcase. Today we're checking out Bael. This is a really interesting character who essentially has this little cat strapped around our face that will force us to take every free item we come across. But on top of that, it's not just as easy as you take the items that are given to you. Uh, there's also 80 different cat related sort of curse challenge items that we can come across that have uh, some negative effects strapped to them but sometimes can be pretty positive and those ones we can be forced to take as well it's going to cause all sorts of weirdness um this is a an interesting version of this boss and we did get an item so in this scenario here you see my cat little dude here and if i if i walk out of this room and leave the item he comes and gives it to us anyways so there isn't much escaping an item, which means that if you find some really, really bad items that you don't want to take, it don't matter. You'll be taking them. I mean, luckily for me, I'm the sort of person that tends to take most items that get given to me anyways. But still, I'm very intrigued by this, and I think it could lead to some shenanigans. Damn it. I really tried my best there. I really tried my best, but we got to bomb this open anyways. Okay. Um... Wasn't expecting rock bottom, especially as our first item, but that's uh, that's that's pretty darn good, right? That's pretty darn good. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering why rock bottom was in that chest there, um, I have a mod on that basically uh, adds new chests, and another one that adds item pools to chests that don't have them, such as stone chests and ghost chests. Um, and yeah, okay, so we've got Ipper Cat here. Let's take a little look here, but yeah, so there's different rock related items in the uh, stone chests hitting an enemy may cause them to blink and create an explosion after a small delay interesting and then we've also got what is here a wet dice shard rerolls all pedestals in the current room disappears upon leaving the room unless it's being held so we'll take ipecac here that sounds interesting it sounds dangerous but i like the idea behind it uh, basically it's kind of like Ipecac, but a little more dangerous because the enemies can run at us while they're um, set to explode. And it seems like they can also explode after death as well, which is rather intriguing. Yeah, okay. I like it. That's cool. That's cool. Um, we got ourselves some sort of dice related item in here. Uh, battery bombs. Potentially good if we can get the money together for it, but I don't know if we're going to be able to here. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I like the idea of this Ipper Cat. I think it's going to be pretty good against bosses if it works against bosses. I'd assume it does. Um, but anything to get us some more money and stuff. There you go. Um, to get some more damage, sorry. I just saw the chests. That was stupid. <laughs> that was stupid. But we are going to be able to at least um, buy something from the shop here. And it looks like we're going to be able to get these battery bombs, which is kind of nice. I'll go and grab those and give them a bit of a more detailed read as to what they do. Okay, so... Plus five bombs. Bombs zap five electrical bolts in random directions. Recharges to active item when the player is hit by an explosion. I mean, that's actually pretty good with this Ipecat thing here. Uh, charge point based on bomb damage. Okay, cool. Um, that's pretty good. It'd be nice if we can get an extra penny here. There is one in this room here, so I'm going to go and grab that to... Just grab that soul heart. I want to make sure we're as safe as can be here. I'll also grab that as well. But yeah, hit, but getting hit by explosions, charging at active could work reasonably well for us here. Um, it's kind of like having Nun's Habit built into a bomb item, which I, I like the idea of. Um, it seems useful. Right, let's go and check out what we got going on here. So, we've got Explosive Plum, one of the, uh, Repentance Boss Champion mod champions. We like him, we like him. I'm not going to use a bomb on him. I was going to, but I think I'll refrain. But yeah, we do have a wet dice shard with us here, but you got to remember that, um, oh my lord, that we can't, like, keep multiple of them. Okay, that did work there. We can't keep multiple of them. If we drop it and leave it on the floor, it will disappear. So we only get one of these per. Yeah, so it is working to generate explosions. Unfortunately, this is a boss that I don't think takes damage from explosions, or at least takes very little damage from explosions, as he is uh, kind of explosive himself. Okay, good. And this is an item that I'm not too interested in. Unfortunately, yeah, another one that I'm not too interested in, but hey her. Uh, right. We will go down the regular path, I think, here. I'm really intrigued to see what we can do with Rock Bottom here, because um, that could be very interesting. We do indeed get a library. Oh, you just pooped on the floor there. Thank you. We do get a library here. Remember, we can't take all the books here, so... Um, each tier has a random effect in the current room. Ooh, two-room charge as well. On Monster Manuel. These are both pretty good. 
each tier has around, I think I'm going to go for this, the stitched papers. I think that has the potential to be better. And I'm curious, actually, to see if it has the chance at giving us any stat ups. I doubt it, because it says each tier. It's not like it's giving us items like $3 bill. But for a two-room charge, I think this is a pretty damn good item. Definitely got some potential danger associated with it. But I think overall, it's going to be useful for us. I've just got to make sure to use it on the right rooms, really. Make sure to save it for my boss and such. Okay, so we don't have a key for there yet. We don't have a key for there yet. I'm pretty much just going to use it whenever it's available, but making sure that I've got it for my boss when I need it. Yeah, those random effects are going to be sometimes good, sometimes kind of terrible. But we'll see. Ooh, if a cat's going to end up hitting me eventually, I know it. I'm seeing the explosions. Ooh, wow. Okay, that's very nice. Come on. If we could just get ourselves a little bit of keys. I've been having real trouble in Isaac with keys recently, I'll be honest. Real trouble with keys. Now that, if a cat on that enemy is uh, pretty easy breezy for us there. I like it. Good stuff. And we did get a tears up here. Um, I don't think I'm going to go devil deal here. I think I'm going to hold off. It looks like we're probably not going to be able to get into our item room here. Um, I'm going to pop a few on this and get some extra money. Wow. Okay, okay. Well, that was good. We rerolled all our health. I mean, we might be able to bomb. Oh, no, we can't. Okay, this is secret room, definitely. So we might get a key from here. We got Vanishing Twin. Now, Vanishing Twin, we can't not take. So the good thing is it's over a gap. I can't normally grab it, but our boy here gives it to us. Vanishing Twin, not bad. Definitely a little dangerous, but with our explosive capabilities, I'm not too worried. No key, unfortunately. I'm going to go in here. Um, unfortunately, it's not what I was looking for. Damn. Uh, Damocles for 10 cent. Oh, that's... That's risky as all hell. I mean... I feel like I gotta do it. It's a cursed character, right? That just seems like a no-brainer. Um, I've got to be... Very careful about not getting hit here, but it does look like we're unfortunately missing out on our item room here, which isn't ideal, but hey her, it happens. It happens. Um extra secret room, I guess, is gonna be here. Lovely stuff. A few extra pennies. But yeah, vanishing twin, Damocles, rock bottom. This is quite the run. Now, I obviously know that we're going to get hit and get killed by by Damocles way earlier than I'd like, but we'll see. Uh, Ball of Cat. On use prevents active items from spawning for the current floor. Disappears. Ooh, I definitely want that. Yes, please. That's really, really nice. Um, yeah, we need keys. So I'll do this. We actually got quite a lot of keys, and that's our third dime of the run. I mean, honestly, what is going on right now? Just remember, try your very hardest to delay getting hit for the first time for as long as possible. Um, that will stop Damocles from activating for a little while. But honestly, I'm not the best at avoiding damage, so let's uh, not pretend like it's going to be the easiest thing for me to do. We shall see, though. We shall see. I'll put my uh, devil thing here as well. Ooh, really unfortunate, actually. We got uh, we got an item that can very, very easily hit me. Uh, this one that spews fire out, um, I have been hit by it many a time. So if it hits me, it hits me, and we get Damocles activated, I guess. Um, another item, dude. Oh, dude, 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 dude. There was two items in there because of Damocles. I don't actually know what I just got. I don't know what I was given there. Um... What, what did it do? The hood triples the chance to turn a soul heart into a fettered heart. Fettered hearts can now be picked up even at full health. Fettered ghost skin homing. Very nice. And we get keeper's sack as well. Also very, very nice. This has just been a, an absolutely dandy run so far. An absolutely dandy run. I'm, I'm, I'm very much enjoying it. We got a golden button here, which honestly I'm not particularly interested in pressing. Um, but I guess it couldn't hurt. What do we get from here? Nothing that I care about. Okay, well, our items are gone now, which is kind of for the best. Yeah, let's be careful of these guys. They're bombing us. Okay, our golden button's done now, actually. That makes life a little easier. 
Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Wow, okay. Now it's done. Okay, that was actually overall pretty good. We do have good keys now as well. So our shop and our item room are intact and ready to go for us. These guys are uh, a nightmare, so let's be careful. Yep, yep, there's Damocles activated. These enemies are uh, a tricky. So now it's all about speed, baby. It's all about speed. So we get B skin here, and then what we got here. Um, while big plus one damage, um, damage, while big plus one damage and plus one speed, while small, all stats you take is doubled. Getting hit while big protects you and shrinks you down. It seems interesting. I'll take it. And we're big now, which we get, we gain the stats permanently, so I don't mind that too much. So I'm not quite sure what that mushroom does. I'll take it though. Okay, so that that just makes us big again if we get small and if we become small. Okay, definitely worried about Damocles. Please, please don't hurt me too much. Please don't end this run too, too quickly. Maybe we can get some sort of invincibility to potentially protect us. We'll see. We will see. B skin's kind of nice as well here. I like it. There you go. Boom goes the dynamite on you. Just keep pushing through here. Shop is lovely. We've got plenty of money to work with here. Good, good. Freeze all enemies is kind of fine. Ooh, what have we got going on here? Automatically consume five pills randomly. Um, Yeah, why not? Let's give it a go. Good stuff. And we'll uh, buy all of this stuff. What does the dam do again? Ten burn orbitals, I like it. I'm just buying as much as I can for a keeper sack. If you're wondering what the hell I'm doing. Right, straight onto the boss, hopefully. Yep, there you go. And the the, the the boom nukes him. Oh shit, I forgot about Vanishing Twin. I was like, what the hell just happened? I forgot about Vanishing Twin completely. Apparently I got an I'm excited in there. We're killing bosses really quickly here. I like that. Um, and we got four items here, so we gain eye drops. Lovely. We got that. Removes all your soul hearts if possible. Tears up for every soul heart lost. Um, yeah, that seems fun enough. And we got cat and dog here. Minus one. Okay, that's just minus one to everything. Unfortunately, we can't avoid taking that, but we gain no stats down from it, so it's not that bad. Rock bottom is preventing a lot of negative stuff to us here. What does this do? Receive that in exchange for Curse of the Blind. Um... Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Curse of the Blind's annoying, but that's a very, very good item. The boom. We got the boom. Good, good, good. We got our shop again here. Remember, just buy everything that we can. Yeah, I completely forgot about Vanishing Twin. I think Vanishing Twin's just one of those items I never see, so... Electric Dice is really nice here, potentially. There you go. Got a bunch of stats out of that. Oh, I'm, I'm so worried that this 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 episode's going to be like, oh, fine and dandy looking real good and Damocles is going to end it. But a run like this, when there's everything going on like it is, you can't not be taking something like Damocles, right? Everyone agrees. Especially when it's like offered to you so like, in such a weird way. <laughs> you just got to take it. Kind of knew that was going to happen. And here we've got some random stuff. Remember, there's nothing, like, we, we can't not take anything. Vericus veins and friendly ball. Apparently, we have two active slots. I'm uh, a little confused as to where those came from, but thank you, I guess. Oh, I just got an email, apparently. <laughs> right, we'll crack this open. I'm not going to crack all of these, because otherwise I'm going to be here forever. In fact, actually, considering the money we just got, I will. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I found pills. I don't know what that uh, machine does, but I'm not willing to give it a go at this stage. Right, we've seen all the rooms we need to see now. Let's uh, let's try and go. I'll, I'll see if I can bomb into a secret room there. Ah, I think there was a mushroom there already that I blew up earlier. My bad. 
I actually don't need to bother with the mushrooms because I've got rock bottom. It's not actually, it just gives us the stat ups and we keep them. It's not doing anything special anymore. So if I see those mushrooms about, I don't actually need to take them. All it's doing is increasing my hitbox size realistically. Extra pill there. I mean, pills are actually not too bad to take because they, they, they can't really hurt us too much in terms of stats. It's not a bad idea to take it. Got to be careful of these random explosions here and there. Probably going to be going through the big room, right? With all these different tier effects. I, honestly, I've, I've seen this active a bunch of times and never thought to give it the time of day. I don't know why. It's really good. Mr. Froggy. Thank you. Lovely stuff. Okay, boss room, where are thou? There we go. The boom. Honestly, I love this uh this this Ipecac. Uh Ipecac cat item. Ooh, big chest, yes. I will give this a go. Beautiful. Blood rights, nothing. Wait, wait, wait. I lost my active. What the hell? I lost my active. I got two actives I don't care about. Didn't know that was the way that worked. Interesting. I guess that's why you've got two active slots, because you have to take the items. Beautiful. Cat pajamas. I don't know what cat pajamas did there, but that was... It got rid of all of my health. Um, cat's bed. Cup of yogurt. Mara. Interesting. Interesting. Um, that's that's. A, I, I guess Curse the Blind really isn't that good when you've got cat items in the mix. But a lot of them are stats down, so we didn't have to deal with them. But we've got this item now where we gain a soul heart every floor, which is nice. Okay, let's just speed along. I still got this wet dice here that I've not used. Should probably get on that at some point. Oh my god. The varicose veins there went crazy as well. I need a better active item. I really do need a better active item. Yes, yeah, so we got a mushroom dancing around there, but I don't really need to pay that much attention to it. Like, being, being increased size doesn't actually help us at all. We good here? What's what's left? Oh, it's just you. I think it's just you at least. Oh, there's a boot. A boot, a boot. Probably another one over here, right? Yep. The explosion took care of most of your health. We're getting keys and coming quite a lot now, which is nice. Oh, dude, I tell you what. I mean, I, mean, I started going to the gym recently a little more. So my girlfriend goes quite a lot, and I've, I've started going with her. And my muscles, my god, they like my arms hurt so fucking much. <laughs> I did leg exercises. My legs are fine because I run, but um, so my, my legs were absolutely fine. But goddamn, my uh, my arms and my my shoulders and my back are just in agony <laughs> constantly. What? I seem to be taking just periodic damage, and I'm not quite sure why. Like I seem to just be taking damage from stuff that I'm not noticing what the hell it is that's hitting me. I'm I'm very confused by that. If anyone can pick out what the hell's hitting me. Is it, I, I was like, maybe it's the explosions, but I feel like the explosions were too far away to be hurting me. So I don't really know. In here we got, taking damage blows you up and sets you back at the spawn door. Well, this is definitely a reroll. Plus 10 bombs, this is another reroll, I think. Wow, this is... This was awful. God damn, that, that just rerolled into some absolute dookie there. Literally. At least the poop has changed now where you can throw the poop. That's nice. Alright, we're just looking for the shop because we gained stats for buying stuff, remember? I should be using the white pepper a bit more. But yeah, I kind of like the idea of, like, you're constantly rolling through different active items as this character. You can never really, like, purposely keep the same one. Really?
really careful about these explosions. Unfortunately, the shop is way back over there, which with Damocles, definitely not the best idea to be going back and like backtracking a lot. But I'm 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 confident it won't hit me. I'm confident it won't hit me. It wouldn't do such a mean thing. Maybe those explosions are just way bigger radius than I, I'm expecting. That hit me then. Yeah, I think, I think the explosions just have a, a, a much larger radius than I'm expecting them to. Well, this room's bloody annoying. What the hell's going on with this floor? <laughs> is this an XL floor? No. Why is it so large over here? What's going on? Oh, what the fuck is this? Yep. That room was bloody horrible. Now, what the hell is all this? What? This is an absolute maze to the shop. Um, plus one black art, plus one tears while Curse of the Blind is active automatically. Gives Curse of the Blind if Devil Deal chances 100%. Why not at this stage? Just why not? It's funny, isn't it? Right, back we go. Oh, dude! Absolutely horrible room here. Right, we are back. We are out. It, it, getting infestation off the bat was not bad, actually. We have gained a ton of flies. I'm pre pretty sure infestation is buffed a little bit by our rebalanced Isaac mod. I think it just gives more flies than it used to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, doing a, it's doing a half decent job for us right now. Doing a half decent job. Right, let's go do our boss. Remember, there's two bosses, not just one. There you go. Easily taken care of. We got four items. I like the fact the bosses are giving us four items now. Can you hurry up with your death? Thank you. We got an angel deal finally. Roid Rage is good. Old Bandage is good. Don't know what that does. Um, more lucky capsules can appear in dead end rooms. Extra lucky capsules may appear. Okay, I don't really know what that is. Cat's dinner. Um, oh, I think that's one heart container, but empties the rest of them. What the fuck? Cat's locket. Um, it's not telling me what that did. I don't know. I don't know what the cat's locket did at all. But I don't know. It, it gives all the soul hearts by the looks of things. Interesting. Yeah, because that was like a reverse version of the soul locket, I believe. Ooh. Nah, I can't take Curse of the Blind again. Curse of the Blind has been screwing us really hard here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna refrain. I'm gonna refrain. Unfortunately, these uh, fires don't go over pits, I don't believe. God damn, are we destroying rooms right now? We've not really had anything yet that's been super good for rock bottom. Oh, nice, that's good. We've not had anything yet that's been super good for rock bottom. I mean, there might be some cards that I've accidentally passed up using that I probably should have used. But otherwise, like, item-wise, we've not had anything crazy. I mean, it's, it's been good for us. It stopped us from getting a lot of negatives from these cursed items. We've got another dice shard here as well. A little hairball dice shard coughed up. Oh, bugger. This is going to be an annoying ash room, this. It wasn't actually too bad. Okay. Item room... We got, let's have a look, see. We got, if you haven't been hit for multiple rooms, you have a high chance of teleporting to an adjacent red room. Red rooms have hard layout and increased enemy health. That seems fun. Um, enemies that, um, enables the filler, enables the filter. Enemies take less damage the further away. Enemies become confused. Okay, let's, let's reroll that. Oh, that's the pot that we've had before. We don't want that for now. Bumba, I'll take Bumba. He's a good lad. Okay, cool. We have flight now. I forgot about that. Lovely stuff. I'm liking having B skin here. All these extra uh, shots fluttering out from us. Ow. Taking a lot of dumb damage here. 
Sometimes the uh, the amount of fires that I spew out is crazy. I think it's electric dice triggering the fires multiple times. So sometimes I trigger like just a ton of fires. I think that's what's happening. Okay, we get Pesci. I like that. Um, and then we'll take that. Thank you. Okay, down we go. Well, we at least made it to the womb side, so saying this is a, a somewhat successful run so far with Damocles. Um, we'll find our uh, find our secret room somewhere and see if we can utilize that. Without mapping, it's going to be a little hard. Oh, we do have mapping. I don't know why I thought we didn't have mapping. Honestly, you need to get out of here so we can kill this dude. Thank you. Hey, Lucky Caps actually gave us some luck that time. Okay, so yeah, this Lover's card we'll use where we can, but I'm not sure where that'll end up being. Yeah, see how many extra fires it spewed out there? I'm taking quite some damage right now. Wooden chests... Do you know what? Wooden chests are good because we could get a ton of uh, cards that give us damage and stuff. What's the other card we got over here? Teleports us to the super secret room. Yeah, I'm going to do that now and come back for that. Hey, more luck. Lovely. Fuck, there's so many rooms where I'm just taking instant damage here, it's funny. Right, well, let's head back. We have two broken hearts, but we only gained one. Oh, we must have get we must have picked up an item that gave us broken hearts. Oh, here we go. Here's uh, one of our red rooms. And it gave us ultra secret room as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. And we get ourselves Champion Belt. We do not mind that. And Isaac's Heart. I'll be re-rolling that. Thank you. Eye of the Occult. Pretty goddamn good. I like it. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. The Core. I could go for another red item. Eye of the Occult here is pretty goddamn good for us. I like it. The explosions be going crazy. Honestly, B-Skin plus Eye of the Occult is a combination I hadn't really thought of before. It's proving to be very good. Just heading back now to get my card. So that I can use it where it sees fit. Again, I should be taking pills more often. I don't really know why I'm not. Okay, cool. Got back here. Come back and grab that. And what does this do? Rerolls pickups and enemies into random pickups. It's kind of like a D20, but it affects enemies too. And into our secret room, I think, is the best place for this. We get ourselves Activates the D4 effect on pickup. Okay, well, that's kind of horrible. Um, I don't think we have any way of getting out of taking that, unfortunately. So, goodbye, rock bottom. It was nice knowing you. We did get binge eater, though. We did get binge eater. And we have random tea. There's, there's a lot going on here that I don't really understand. So the rest of this run's a bit of a bit of a crazy one. I kind of forgot that that item existed. I did know that. I just forgot completely. We have some insane shot speed going on right now. I don't know what the hell's going on with my damage. Honestly, this run is so much worse. God damn it. Damn you, D4. How dare you. We've also got missing known there, you bastard. We still have Damocles, though. Damocles is still here. Um, ooh, what's this sacred heart here? Oh, come on, don't mess me around. Oh, I can't pause during it now. I see. What the hell? Uh, deal three full heart damage. Uh, grants her... Okay, I'm just going to take that. That seems good. I got a lot of broken hearts, goddamn. 
I got a lot and a lot of broken hearts. Holy. Plus a bit of a rough spot. I can't believe Damocles still hasn't triggered, but again, we, we re-roll like crazy here. Oh, dude. I am on half a heart. What a re-roll. That seems a little, uh, a little horrible game. What the hell is this cat face bouncing around? Is that, did that just bounce me? It did. Okay, if I, if I touch that cat face, I bounce. Well, at least we're seeing more of the, uh, more of the curses here now. What the hell? It's, it's, it's a bit of a wild one. Now, damage is, is insane right now. What's this little TV dude doing? I don't know what my active does either. Oh my god, this is this is absolutely chaotic right now. And every floor, we're gonna get rerolled again. Honestly, Snake with Pop is is kind of wild. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised we've not we've not been Damocles yet. I mean, I'm very happy for it, but I'm I'm definitely surprised. Get me out of this room. Come on, let's let's go the right way this time, shall we? That was very close. Cat face, you bonked me into that enemy there. Not a big fan of the cat face doing that. Dude, <laughs> what is going on with Snake? It hates it. Its existence is true pain. We got a treasure room here. Ah, oh, it's a fucking curse door, though. I don't like the noise the cat face makes either. It goes like, boom, boom. I I don't know what just happened there. I'm not quite sure. Either way, that was an interesting run. I hope you guys did enjoy this absolute chaos that unfolded towards the end there, and a pretty interesting character. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.